we're going to be reading the book Jack and the Beanstalk. Go! Jack and the Beanstalk. One day, Jack's mum said, We have no money and nothing to eat. Take our cow to the market and sell her, so that we can buy some food. Jack took the cow to the market. He swapped her for some magic beans. Jack went all the way home with his bag of beans. Here, it looks like Jack's mum asked him to go to the shop and swap her cow for some money. And it looks like Jack swapped her cow for this and instead got some magic beans. When Jack's mum saw the beans, she was cross. Silly boy, shouted Jack's mum. Now we have no cow, no money and nothing to eat. She threw the beans into the garden and sent Jack to bed. Jack went off to bed. He was sad about the beans. So next morning, Jack looked out of his window. There was a giant beanstalk in the garden. Jack was hungry. He climbed the beanstalk to look for some beans to eat. He climbed up and up into the clouds. Jack went all the way to the top of the giant beanstalk. At the top of the beanstalk, Jack found a giant castle. He knocked at the door. The cook opened the door. Please may I have something to eat? asked Jack. The cook gave him some food. Then they heard footsteps. You must hide, she cried. The giant who lives here likes to eat little boys for his supper. Boom, boom, boom. Jack hid in the cupboard. The bad greedy giant stomped into the kitchen. Fee, fee, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a little boy, the giant shouted. Don't be silly, said the cook. You can smell these sausages. Jack was scared. Would the giant eat him? In this page, it looks like Jack is hiding in the cupboard and he's thinking if the, this big greedy giant will eat him. And the giant thinks he's smelling the blood of little boys instead. The cook said he's smelling these sausages. The greedy giant ate the sausages. Bring me my gold, roared the giant. The cook got his gold, and the greedy giant counted it. Soon the giant fell asleep. Jack popped out of the cupboard and grabbed a bag of gold. Jack quickly climbed back down the beanstalk with the bag of gold. It looks like Jack popped out of the cupboard and got a bag of gold, and it looked like this giant counted lots and lots that he got too tired and went to sleep. Jack's mum bought some food but soon all the gold was gone and they were hungry again. Jack climbed up the beanstalk again. He hid in the castle. Soon the greedy giant came into the kitchen. Fee fee fo fum. I smell the blood of a little boy, he shouted. Don't be silly, said the cook. You can smell meat. The giant ate the meat. Bring me my hen, roared the weedy giant. The cook fetched a fat white hen. The hen laid a big golden egg. As soon as the giant fell asleep, Jack popped out of the cupboard and grabbed the hen. Jack climbed down the beanstalk with the white bat hen. It looked like the giant, when the giant got to sleep, it looked like Jack popped out of the cupboard and it looked like then he ran down to the beanstalk over here from the castle here and it looks like he's climbing down. The next day, Jack climbed the beanstalk again. He hid in the castle and waited for the giant to come. Bring me my harp, roared the giant. The cook got a golden harp. It played to the giant. He fell asleep. Jack popped out and grabbed the harp, but the giant woke up. Fee, fee, fo, fum, he cried. Stop, 
Come back, boy. Jack climbed down the beanstalk as fast as he could go. The giant chased after him. Jack got to the bottom and grabbed an axe. He chopped down the beanstalk. Crash! The giant fell to the ground. And that was the end of the bad greedy giant. I hope you enjoy the story and liked the Jack and the Beanstalk story and 